Hey Stampers, Gayla again. Um, I was thinking about earlier and I made this card but I cannot flag the ends of these pieces of paper, cardstock even, for love and money. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I, I've got black there and I think it's a little bit, um, what can I say, not showy enough against the night and navy. But uh, and I've, I'm changing up the center sentiments, but the rest of the card is gonna be the same more or less. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I did it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So and then, by the way, I'm using the we're gonna have a good time. It's your day. Eat cake from the big on birthday stamp set. I'm using the confetti. Let's celebrate. It's your birthday from the Balloon Adventure as well and we're using um, Knight of Navy ink I've gone ahead already and mounted my stamp ready for the inside of the card so I've got here whoops a daisy uh, we've got two pieces of um, Knight of Navy cardstock and they're both four and a quarter by five and a half that's the front and back of your card. Um, like I say, I've got the black, which is four by five and a quarter, but I'm, I've got this silver paper, and I might edge the paper just because you're only going to see the border anyway, So, and it'll probably help you pop it off the paper. Scrap again, but Whisper White, this is three and three quarters by five. This is the bit we're going to decorate. Um, so I'll leave that there. I've got a piece of designer series paper and this is out of the party animal and I am going to have to flag this one but oh my god please don't uh, diss me if I get it wrong because I just can't do it. Uh, I've tried also, I end up with a big slit up there or, or one triangle is perfect and the other one's halfway up there. Please bear with me. <laughs> and I'm also going to use some of this... Um, glitter paint which I've already flagged ooh I know I shouldn't but that took me about four attempts to do that properly so let's see oh, hey still not level but that's how we're going to decorate that there so I'm going to actually run this after I've done this front piece around the black piece uh, we've also got some extra um, designer series paper because we're, in fact I'll do that now while we're talking I'm going to cut out two balloons for the inside of the card so I can set that to one side now and still got loads left for another project. This is the opening bit of our card Brent's and back and we're going to score that in a moment. Um, I took some scrap Whisper White and I've, like I say, I've gone and done the sentiment, stamp these. I'm going to use my big shot in a moment and I'm going to use this little banner punch. At least it's flagged on the end for me. <laughs> and I know they're all going to be cut to the same size. So uh, we'll be doing that in a moment. So I'll set them to one side. And like I say, this, let's, let me just close this for two seconds. No, I'm going to leave it open. I'm just going to move it to one side. Let's go and try and flag this. So it's at the centre. Corner two. See, I can't never. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> like I said, it's not perfect, but I'm now going to adhere that down. I want this towards the bottom. Because I'm going to be stamping as well. So I'm going to stick that down now. You don't have to go all the way to the top because we're going to stick off what we don't need anyway. And this is roughly about six inches long uh, by an inch wide. That's what I've got to tell you earlier. So I'm going to keep this pretty uh, level. 
and I'm going to trim off the excess here. Before I start going around the piece of black, I need to add this. I'm just gonna. It's not gonna be exactly the same length, and it's gonna be basically right about there. Again, cut a bit of extra. Just tuck it over. And look at that in our sweet. It's starting to look nice. All right, I'm gonna pop that there for two seconds. I hope you can hear me. I've gone out and bought a microphone today. Fingers crossed the sound will be a bit better for everybody. It's either that or I just mumble, so <laughs> I do apologise. So let's put some of this right on the end of the uh, silver. It's like silver washi. So I'm just going to snip it off. It's only to give, like I say, a little border to my card because I haven't got much silver glimmer, uh, silver paper left. So I want to wait till my order comes on Tuesday. And I've ordered the foil actually, not the glimmer paper this time. So I'm gonna put it in there. And, um, just open it a bit. Um, Top now. I'm nearly done. I'm going to stick to my finger. In fact, I'm going to go a little bit higher on this one. And just fold it over. Like I say, we have we don't need a lot showing. going to stand out better against the blue. Oh, that's lovely. Yay. God, I want fingers and thumbs. Oh, yes, that's much better. I don't know why I chose black in the first place, but I did. And I wish I hadn't now. But it's got a bit of glimmer on it anyway. It's got a bit of sparkle. It's a mail card. They don't mind a bit of bling, really, secretly. But that's how it's going to go out. So I'm going to pop those to one side for a second. I'm going to use a bit of scrap because uh, we are going to be um, making a little bit of a mess. Here's mine. I'm going to use the confetti that's in the um, balloon uh, adventures stamp set. And I'm going to... It's just to break up the... So when I stick my uh, three things across, it's got something in the background. Oh, that's so cute. This could be for a man, a little boy. You could change the colours and do it for a little girl even. <clears throat> I'm going to close that just for a minute. I'm going to dry now. Wow. Right, now I'm going to pop that to one side and this. And I'm going to fetch in my big shot. three times but I've got my magnetic plate on. Um, I 
just turn it the right way, don't I? <laughs> At least with this, I know the flagging on the end is going to be perfect. I'm just going to run that through. So I might have to do that bit again for some reason. Let's get a weird uh, Oh, great stuff. That's why. Oh, cool. Well, that's wicked. I like that. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. I'll just pop this out. Of course, that one could save them for something else. Right, let's try and... Oh, the flaming bravery of them. Let's run this back through. That's it, it's just gone in there, it's perfect. A little bit of... Oh, it's beautiful, I love it. And one more. Oh, I think they're cute, those little shapes. I could add them. All right, let's eat cake. Still in focus, right? I'm gonna pop this to one side. Pop this out of there because I don't need it now, but I'm gonna I don't want to put it away full of paper. There we go. Oh, I think they're so cute. I like them. Oh excuse me. Um yeah, I think I like them. So I'm going to fetch this back in there. I need to pop that down on there. I've got the frame that's holding my camera in place. I swear it jumped. I do apologise, people. I can't really get up and move around. I have... Uh, not uh, I'm poorly bad back, really suffering with fibromyalgia, I think that's what they call it these days. I'm going to pop these on dimensions. It's slightly different, but it's, it's still the same principle. I like the way those turned out, actually. I would have liked them slightly bigger, but I like it. I love it a lot. Like I say, if you catch me mumbling, I do apologise, because I just rub it onto myself. So we're going to pop these up now. And we're going to start here. We're going to have a good time. It's your day. Eat cake. That's what most people do on birthday. Look at me, I'm covered in ink. I have no idea where that's come from. Yes, I do. Off my ink pad. I just gotta be the most messiest stamper going. Just put that in there because I can see that little bit. Try and space them out evenly. How cute is that? 
guess that cool. I suppose you could. But I'm not going to. I'd need my fine glue tip. And the nozzle's broke, so. How cute! Right, I'm going to now attach this to my top layer. And that's our top layer done. Then we're going to fetch in the score in the, the trimmer, the score of the underneath piece of card. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at that. Cootie, cootie, cootie. Right, I need to pop that to one side. We're going to fetch in the trimmer now. And we're going to score this. This needs to be scored at four and a half and nine. Simple. This is the opening centerpiece. And nine. And we finish with that now. And we're going to fold and fold. This one Bone folder. And this now is going to get put on our card. Oh no, it's fell off. These don't break again. having a nightmare girls and boys. really clean my hands. Look at them. Disgusting. And the muckiest pop going. Now we're going to just put some adhesive here. And this is the front of our card. And we need to line them up so they perfectly level with each other. And I'm just sticking onto this card. Just use the head. And there we have it. Stuck down. So now when we open the card, it's like this. Isn't it cute? Look at that. See, they are much neater. Look, professionally done. Gaganded. Thankfully, this is just for the video. So, and I love this birthday sign, but I think it's a bit too big for the centre of this card. So, I've changed it. So I'm going to fetch my ink back in. I'm going to open up the card, and I'm going to pop. I'm going to go towards the bottom so you can still write your message. And I've got space to add my balloon. How sweet is that? And uh, I'm going to pop this Let's Celebrate right along this edge here. Oh, cool. So we've got the really conformed lines. We're going to have a good time. It's your day, eat cake. And then we've zoshed, zoosed it up a bit inside. I am going to add a little bit more confetti to this top section. I'm going to put one here and one here. How sweet. We're finished with the ink now. And now, like I 
so we took our two little balloons. I'm going to add a little bit of Tombow because actually I've got some two-way glue here. It's just a little glue pen. I think it's great. And I'm going to take it up a little bit there. Because I've got some of this lovely twine. It's got like a silver thread to it. So I'm going to have a small piece for the small balloon. And a slightly longer one then for the larger balloon. I'm going to... They're about the same size. If I put that up there, just for a second, hold it in place, and this one here, I'm going to fetch my dimensions back in. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. And I'm going to cover that so it keeps that in place as well. And the same with that one. going to add these now. I'm going to put, I'm going to put the small balloon here. There, that way. So you can still write. And the larger balloon. is going right here. How sweet is that? And the balloons are matching the Design says paper, but how gorgeous is that? So sweet and a nice surprise when you open up. I like that. It's a bit thing. Right, well, I'm going to put all the dimensions in the description box because my blog is not set up yet and it will be sometime in February, please. I can't wait for my friend to come and help me because I haven't got a clue. Um, and I'll put the, like I say, dimensions of all what sizes you need. Tie up to you what stamps you use. You don't have to do it. You could use your banner punch. Anything, it's up to you. Um, I still haven't got my banner punch. I'm going to save these for something else. I'm going to put uh, a link on the bottom if you would like to come and join us at Stamping Up and use me as your upliner. Um, you're going to get £130 worth of stuff from Stamping Up to start your own kit and you pick your own kit. You're going to get £45 business pack catalogues, all of forms, invitations, so you can spread the word, have parties, and that's coming to you free. Plus, there are two stamp sets in the Stampin' Up! range worth £90, £93. You can have them, or you can have two of any of your choice, but you're going to have a total. If you do pick the two most expensive, which are absolutely stunning, you will have a total of £268 worth of items. For just £99. So whether you're in um, UK, Ireland, anywhere in Europe, you can use me as your upliner. And you can also follow the link for the shop as well, which is open 24-7. And the catalogues are there to view in there. Or you can do it all online. But I'm going to stop wrapping it on now because <laughs> I don't have to turn it on. But um, a thumbs up, a like, share and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video as well. And until next time, like I say, I'm going to try and get 200 on by Christmas. So I'm going to try and have to do these a lot quicker. But thanks for watching. Until next time, Gaina, ta